All right guys, as a true crime buff, this one is probably one of my favorites. However, when we're dealing with mnemonics, you need to know what signs and symptoms you should be looking for with your patients who are experiencing hyperkalemia or high potassium. So what are we looking for? Let's look at the mnemonic murder. M stands for muscle weakness. Potassium is really important in muscle contractions, so you have to constantly keep an eye out for your patient's muscle contractility. U stands for urine. For patients that are experiencing hyperkalemia, they may have decreased urine output called oliguria or anuria, which is no urine production. R stands for respiratory distress. Patients that have high levels of potassium could experience some level of respiratory distress. D stands for decreased contractility of the heart. We want to keep an eye on that heart and make sure that it's still appropriately squeezing and getting all the blood where it needs to go. E stands for EKG changes. What we want to look for on that EKG is a peak T wave. At the end of the QRS complex, that T wave is going to be higher than normal. That last R stands for reflexes. But what does that mean? Anytime we're dealing with a patient that has hyperkalemia, we want to check reflexes. We want to check either elbows or the patella reflexes. We're looking for a sign or symptom such as um, hyper or hyporeflexia, meaning that anytime you check that reflex, it's either going to excessively respond or it may not even respond at all. So for those patients that are experiencing hyperkalemia, you want to look for these signs and symptoms and use this mnemonic to help you out. Subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified when our next nursing mnemonics video comes out. Click the little box below for your free cheat sheet. And did you know we have a free nursing mnemonics course? Click the link in the description below and you can take that course for free. Happy, Happy nursing. nursing.